If I were in the market for a pickup today, the GMC Canyon would be my top choice. And as a lifelong Tacoma fan, it might surprise you that the Tacoma isn't my number one in this segment. But here's the twist. While the Canyon is leading my list, the Tacoma is snatching Canyon customers. And if I were in the market, they'd probably snatch me too. In this video, I'm breaking down why that's the case and how you can negotiate the best deal on a brand new GMC Canyon using real sales data, inventory insights, target discounts, and lease programs. Stay tuned because I'm going to pull all of this together in an email template so you can lock in the very best deal. A whole summary of everything I talk about in this video as well as that email template is available for you by clicking here or the link in the description below. Are you ready? Let's go. The only time GMC was putting out tons and tons of canyons was in the early 2000s. And by tons, I mean like 5,000 units per month. And for GMC, the bread and butter vehicles are the Acadia and the Yukon, not so much the Canyon. What this means for me in particular is that dealers are not as likely to negotiate on the Canyon as the other models. However, seeing as those sales have been on an uptick this year, I do think negotiability has improved this year versus in the past, especially with such incredible competition in this segment. Now, let's go over inventory on the top midsize pickups so you can get a better handle on who has how much and where to turn to if need be if the Canyon doesn't work out for you. You can see from this chart that GMC stock is very limited when compared to Toyota and Chevy. And I want to use that very fact to my advantage in the very first point in my email to the dealer. Now, let's pick one out from Car Gurus. Car Gurus was showing a ton of elevations, but my eyes were on the AT4. Of the 1800 AT4 showing up, the one I chose had an MSRP of $46,000. If I walk into a GMC dealership, I know a lot of what goes in into how much they're gonna discount the car has to do with the model, i.e. if it's an aging Yukon or a Sierra, and they just wanna get rid of it off the lot quickly. There's not tons and tons of factory cash going to GMC dealers to help them sell these cars. So my personal target is around 5% off the MSRP, and that makes the second point in my email to the dealer. That discount of 5% brings me to a target selling price of 44,270. GMC is offering 1.9% at 36 months, but no rebates at all. The lease program is very, very interesting though. Interesting because I thought that the residual was going to make it a stupid cheap payment and that's really not the case. It's got a 66% residual at 36 months and 12,000 miles a year, but a super high money factor of 0 0.00322, which is roughly around 8% APR. Plugging this all in into the lease calculator, assuming you got that 5% discount, assuming you paid your inception fees to its start, and assuming you liked and subscribed to this YouTube channel, we'd be talking about $6.56 a month. That's not including your state sales tax. In a word, disappointing. The Canyon feels like a $500 a month pickup. And it's tough because with a similarly priced Toyota Tacoma with a similar discount, it could be had for around $500 a month. And that's our third point to the dealer. If you're a cash buyer, okay, this might not affect your decision as much. However, I should say getting seven to 8% off a Tacoma is my typical recommendation. So even there, I believe more savings could be had from the Toyota than on the Canyon. Now, why am I pushing so hard for the Canyon? Because in my opinion, GMC makes an incredibly durable and dependable truck. Not that Toyota doesn't, it's just my tastes are more GMC and Toyota before money comes in and just shoves me into the Toyota dealership because that's what really talks at the end of the day, doesn't it? Now for this email, what I'm going to say is, is dear GMC manager, my name is Ari and I'm currently in the market for a Canyon. I've been looking at one on your website that matches my interests. Here's where you insert the link. I realize inventory is a bit limited and while it is my first option, I am also considering the Toyota Tacoma as a backup. 
I'm hoping to stay under $45,000 total for this truck, and I'm considering leasing as well if the payment was around $500 a month like it is with the Tacoma. I'd love to make the Canyon happen for me with your help as it is my first choice. What do you think you can do for me? Sincerely, Ari. You know what's kind of nuts though? Three-year-old Canyons with like 35,000 miles are selling in the low 30s right now. They really weren't kidding, man. They're still retailing at around 67% of the MSRP after three years. This for me is even more reason to buy it brand new and skip buying it used because you're really getting screwed in both scenarios. Leasing, you're getting slapped with insane amounts of interest and with buying used, you're buying at a price still pretty close to the original price and it's the old body design plus higher interest rates for used cars plus there's really not so many of these on the used market. So what are the odds that you'll even find what you want? Plus, there was no other plus, I'm sorry. Again, everything I said in this video is available for you in a summary by clicking here or the link in the description below. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.